SH Communicates. In this episode, we work together. Silence, 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 silence! Blindfold ourselves. Two, one. Okay, okay, well, so just walk forward, it's right here. And create incredible sketches. I'm Naomi Manug and you're watching SHTV. Hi, I'm Naomi Manuk and welcome to SHTV. A lot of people think that every SHTV episode is a party. Well, party planning takes a lot of communication. Let's meet party planner Annie Sufi. The job of an event planner is 50% planning from A to Z, we do it all. 50% act as a therapist, especially during wedding planning season. As an event planner, I take care of the entire process of planning with my client. Starting from the first phone call, take down all the notes, what the client needs, what are their desires, what uh, the theme is, and just go start planning with that. So we start looking for venues, we start looking, uh, planning out the event, you know, uh, designing the space, and afterwards we start uh, working on the schedule, to eventually coming the day of and just setting up, making sure everything goes smoothly the day of, and then there's always tear down at the end, which everybody forgets. First time I started event planning happened by fluke. A very good friend of mine was in the business for a very long time, and she just pulled me in randomly one day, sent me a client, answered the phone, um, pretended I knew what I was talking about, and I had to create an entire and design an entire event in four days for this client that I had no idea who I was talking to, by the way. And then ever since then, I caught the bug and haven't stopped. I loved every aspect of the event planning process and it's been fun ever since. Event planning is very creative because everyone is different. Everybody has a different idea in their heads. And when we start putting it on paper, they realize what they want, they see it, they visualize it, and they get really excited. So it's creative because they it's bringing it to life whatever is in their mind. So we're kind of drawing their blueprint of their plans. As a student in this school, I know how much of a headache group work could be. Well, with just a little communication, it could be a lot easier. Okay, my name is Mr. Jabbar. This is how you read it. I'm going to be your English teacher for this year. Silence. I'm going to be your English teacher. Uh, this year we're going to read Speak, which is going to be the first novel, so I want that by next week, please. And 20 pages of red have, has to be read. So I see a lot of new faces. I only know like two of you guys here. So I'm going to ask you guys to be in groups of four or five and just meet each other, learn what they like, new hobbies, and just know, learn new, meet new people and learn about them. Come on, bro. Go. Okay, hi guys, my name is Jonathan. I come from Seattle, United States. I love I love hamburgers, it's our national dish here. And I love especially with uh, cheese and ketchup. And second of all, I love playing soccer. Oh, that sounds interesting, man. And I play soccer with my friends in Seattle. I used to play. 
And yeah, I would like to learn about you guys too. Let's start with you. Hi, my name is Francois. I'm from Paris, in the city of Marseille. Mm -hmm. And I love soccer too. I'm a Frenchman. And I love baguettes, especially, mm -hmm. especially long ones. Mm -hmm. My nice. name is Alessio, and I come from Italy. Uh, I love spaghetti and pizza. Oh, well, and what's your favorite topping? What's your favorite topping on spaghetti? Uh, Parmesan. Mm, nice. Uh, my name is Armen. I come from Armenia. Mm. Armenia is the first Christian country in the world. Oh, I didn't know that. Man. That's so. I cool. That's love. Cool. I, I love Armenian food. I also love boxing and different martial arts. That's unique. I didn't know. I don't know. I mean, do boxing and let's say mixed martial arts. That's really interesting. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Wow, that's really okay, that cool, should be guys. Nice. Oh my god. Right. I really learned a lot. Okay, class, everyone take your seats immediately. Come on, come on. Okay, I hope that you guys learned something new today and had fun interacting with new people. I'm gonna start with you. I want to tell you I want you to tell me one thing that you learned and who it is from you. I learned from Jonathan, I learned from he's from Seattle and he really likes hamburgers. Oh hamburgers, okay. You? I learned that Francois is French and he likes baguettes. Oh baguettes. Sounds interesting. I learned that Armenia is the first Christian country. Armen told me so. Oh, okay, so you guys are really Strong into the Christian culture. You? And I learned from Alessia that his favorite topping on pasta is Parmesan. Oh, I love Parmesan actually. Okay, so there's about a minute left. Make straighten your decks, pick up something if there's anything on the ground, please make sure. Keep it clean. Okay, this this! Hey guys, how was your weekend? Did you guys do anything interesting? Yeah, I watched a couple of old Armenian movies. They were so sad, I was crying. Hmm, that's interesting. So yesterday, I went to the park with my sister, and we went and played some soccer. We had a blast. Nice. Okay, let's work on the English project. I added my part about why socialization is important. I wrote that socializing is a great way to communicate and make friends. What do you guys think? Looks good. I added my part as well. I wrote, you get to have fun with the friends you made outside of school. I added, how socializing helps with teamwork. I wrote it helps with teamwork and group projects, so we can do group projects together. Great teamwork, I think it looks good. So since we're done, I'll submit the work now. Let's see. Okay. Since we're done, uh, tonight who wants, who's interested in going to the movies? I mean, we should watch the new Barbie movie. I heard it's a great movie. I'm in too. Margot Robbie is my favorite actress. Nice, let's go watch this movie. At this school, the special education technician has a vital role in communication. Let's meet our brand new special ed tech, Tenny Apkarian, and ask her five questions. Hi, my name is Ms. Tenny Afgarian. I am a special educator at Sunpako. Um, I am graduated. I've graduated from spe special care counseling from Vanier College. So how do you communicate with students uh, who have difficulty opening up? Uh, before communicating with students who, who you have to open up with, you have to build a relationship. Your relationship has to be based on trust for your client to be able to be able to open up for you. You have to ask open-ended questions, listen, um, in order for them to be comfortable enough to talk to you. So 
So why do you think communication is key? Communication is key in order to understand any problem, any situation. Um, so it's based on improvement, if you want it. Um, so it's important to communicate, to understand the uh, other's point of view, your point of view, to have uh, understanding of any subject. What are the main characteristics to having a successful communication? So to have a successful communication, you have to be clear, concise, have your message uh, received, understand the main idea. So be a good listener, um, patient, uh, and understand the idea in order to exchange what the other person is telling you. What part of your job makes you want to communicate? Uh, communicating is a key element of my job. In order to understand the need of a student or anybody, I need to communicate, I need to be open-minded, I need to understand what the person is saying in front of me in order to receive what they're saying, understand, and then help them in any aspect. What advice would you give someone who is planning a major in communication during their time in college would be to have a lot of patience, uh, to be open-mindedness, to have a vast vocabulary, to be able to uh, sit, understand, and then re receive and then project the right information. Communication has its advantages in various situations. Let's show you some of them. Communication also helps you to know why people are feeling sad, just like in this situation. Oh my god, there's a kid crying! What? How can this be? Mr. Lou? Oh no! Communication helps you to make new friends. Who would like to begin? Me? I will begin. For, uh, but I will continue. Two. Oh yeah, I have to throw all of them. Oh, you have, you have, you have the six. It also helps you to spend time with your actual friends. To talk about his experience with communicating with kids, our classmate Hirak Zadurian interviewed Mr. Armand Dubois Rangebaran, our history teacher. Good afternoon, Mr. Armand. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah. I have a question for you. Go on. So, how can you communicate with kids when you're an adult? Uh, I think uh, you mean you mean what's the best way? Right? Yes. What's the best way? Uh, it will be uh, to go uh, slowly, calmly. Uh, make sure you have the eye contact, eye contact with the, the kids. And uh, for instance, if you're teaching them, maybe uh, when you speak, like uh, articulate the word carefully. Uh, don't speak too fast, so they understand you. Uh, maybe to make sure they understand you, make them repeat uh, what they hear, so you're sure that they understand you. And what else? Um, I think that's about it. Right? Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's get serious for a second. 
Communication is key to solve arguments or fights. We want to remind you that violence is never the answer. In this example, Hurak sent a YouTube link to Christopher. But it was a virus. And now Christopher's laptop is full of viruses. Hey! Hey, stop guys! We can solve this with communication! Wait! He's right, you know? Alright, why did you broke my computer? It was your fault. You no, clicked the link. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't. It's, it's your fault. fault. It, it it's your fault. Hey, 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 sit down. Guys, you can't solve something while fighting with each other. You have to communicate slowly. You have to say sorry and buy a new computer. Yes, you're right. I have to try and find a way to fix this. Thank you. What would you do if you weren't able to speak out loud? Would you be able to complete simple tasks? Well, that's the topic of this week's Secondary 5 Final Showdown. Hi, I'm Lizzie Karamia, and welcome to the first challenge of the secondary five final showdown. As you can see, I was sketching. Here is how the first challenge works. In this challenge, each secondary five student must instruct the secondary two sketch artist to reproduce the following photo. The only catch is that they cannot use any verbal instructions. The team that amasses the most votes will win this challenge. Okay, now that you know what the rules are, here is how the challenge unfolded.
Wow, that's quite a challenge. We put this to a vote and these are the results. Because of the secondary 2A student, the secondary 5A is 1. Let's see how the next challenge unfolds in the next secondary 5 final showdown. <laughs> Two, one. Okay, Caleb. So just walk forward. It's right here, on the on the locker. Just walk here. Yeah. So a bit down, a bit down, a bit down. No, down, down, down. A bit right, a bit right. Left. Left. Okay, just go up. Go up, go up, one more time, one more time, that's it, perfect. Let's go, Kevork! Woo! <laughs> Thank you for watching SHTV. Over the course of this episode, we saw people communicate without their eyesight. Let's look at one more challenger. Bon, Madame Lenoir, vous pouvez aller tout de poids, tourner un petit peu à droite. Parce que c'est pas tout à fait à droite. Euh, voilà, continuez tout droit. Encore, encore. Vous avez devant vous à un mètre le tableau environ. Oui, là il est arrivé, parfait. Vous êtes, euh, votre main est sur le visage, en plein cœur du visage. Vous pouvez avancer un tout petit peu. Descendre la moustache, encore. Euh, un petit peu plus haut maintenant. Tassez un petit peu à droite. Encore un petit peu. Euh, un petit peu à gauche maintenant, tout petit. Juste un petit peu en haut. Et on colle. 